We skipped a lot of, like, the going down to the beach part. In terms of, like, the cliff area. Maybe? Perhaps? No, yeah, we went down right here, I remember. <laughs> Alex, why are you wearing that jacket? It's like 75 degrees and the sun's out, you know? And I thought you said you were gonna go swimming anyway. You bring a jacket, but you don't bring a swimsuit. What? The sun is not out. The sun is... I guess it barely came out just now. But see, this is when I get punished for watching the weatherman. He said it was gonna be like overcast. He said there was a chance for clouds. What? Hey, Michael, we didn't bring drinks. Did we? I thought we said we'd bring drinks. Wait, Michael? Uh, yeah? What is it? Did I almost step on a crab or something? What? How? Why am I here? What? You don't want to hang out at the beach? There's stuff in town, but it's all boring knick-knack shops or whatever. No, I mean, in this time period. Ah, oh, geez, you're hitting the existential nostalgia trip already? I get it, Alex. I would have been happier in the 70s. The 70s? That's like the worst time. Where's... where's Jonas? Jonas? Who's Jonas? Is someone else coming? Yeah, is that a friend of yours? He's just... he's just a friend, but he was... Well, I mean, if he's here, there's only two places he could be, the beach or the town. Yeah, it's a small island. I'm sure you'll run into him. Today turned ah. out to be... A flawless day. It really did. Huh? Yeah, no, it did. It really did. I wanted to bring a kite, but thought you'd laugh at me. Clarissa, doesn't this... Don't you remember... We're all on the island. Nona's there. I love Nona like a three-legged puppy, but she would shrivel up and die in the sun. Oh, yeah? Yeah, she's better off at home, trust me. Ah, we're getting like a big-ass flashback. Or maybe it's not a flashback, because was Clarissa really there? We don't actually fully know the story behind that. We got, like, the ghost yelling at us, saying that it was our fault that Michael died. But if Clarissa there, well then... It surely would also be a shared blame with her, so I think this is just... a random memory projection thingy. Also, the fact that we're interacting with it in a way that would obviously be different from a memory, because we're like, Whoa, why am I back here? Ugh. You know, I was thinking a little bit earlier as we passed by the entrance to the beach, like, oh, I wonder if we should go back down to the beach at some point. Maybe there'll be something there. And, well, this is one way to go about it. It's nice and sunny out here. Nothing bad could possibly happen. I don't even have a radio or anything like that. Let's go to the beach beach. I think that's what I was going to say. Or maybe just cut off at B-A, B-A. It's been a spell since we did something, right? I feel like I haven't talked to you in a while. How have you been? What's been going on? How's classes? How's... What's his face? Mr. Collins' English. Truthfully, I've, um... I've... Ah, sorry. I think... Yeah, I... <laughs> I accidentally left my phone on the ferry, because I do things like that. <laughs> oh, God, you idiot. Go get it before it leaves. When I get back, I want to hear an Alex story. <laughs> Can't I just come with you? I'll take two seconds. Think of something to tell me. Oh, jeez. So. So. Uh, <laughs> do you... Well, I guess you don't remember anything, right? What am I meant to remember? I'm sorry, did I forget something? Our whole, like, island horror show. Ghosts and possessions and... And none of this is jarring like anything loose. If this is about Ren's movie, I mean, I told him I didn't want to do it. Half the script was an underwear scene, so, you know, no thanks. Um, I'm glad we could all do stuff today. I'm glad you were cool with it, I mean. I know you guys are really close, and like, I know it can be annoying when somebody starts keeping all their time for their girlfriend or whatever. So, I think it would be cool if we could like, continue to do things together. Yeah, I uh, totally understand. And, yeah, let's, uh, do stuff, you know. Cool, cool. Michael, uh, he loves you, like, a lot. I'm sure you know that, but he talks about you all the time. <laughs> oh, Alex did this, and Alex let the frogs out in science class. Isn't she hilarious? Yeah, well, I love him too. Had to fight the skipper for it, but he didn't reckon how many squats I could do. What's it up to, six? Only on burrito days. On non-burrito days, it's like eight. Actually, Clarissa and I had a nice chat while you were away. 
kind of sorry to see you back so soon, to be honest. Oh, really? I'm sure Alex sold you on how I lock her in the basement and treat her like a shaved monkey. The version I heard was you trap her in the greenhouse. Yeah, well, it changes month to month. We talked ex-girlfriends mostly. Well, now I know that's not possible because I don't call them... Actually, I'm just going to stop with that joke because if I keep going, I'd be due for a little punishment. Yeah, I'm sure. So, I actually really want a cold something, so I'm going to run into town and get like a soda. Anybody want anything? Um... Uh, yeah. Get me a drink, too? Sure. I'll be back. Maybe this will change the future. Maybe Clarissa okay. will be a lot I'm nicer here. to me. What's the story? I want the news. I want the Alex first edition. What's going on? I've missed you, man. I, I've just missed you a lot, that's all. Hey, come on. I've missed you, too. And I know I've been hanging out with Princess, but it's a two-way thing. You can knock on my door. We live in the same house. We gotta bring back movie night and board game night <laughs> all the nights. Yeah, sure. And look, I know this was supposed to be our day. But I completely forgot I promised Clarissa I'd do something with her, so thanks for chaperoning. I know it's not what you had in mind, so... What do you see in her, really? Okay, here's... Okay, Tuesday night, she dragged me to a comedy club for open mic, shoved me on stage, and then proceeded to curse out the entire bar when they didn't laugh at my horrible jokes. And that was a Tuesday, so... That's what I see in her. Yeah. I'm sorry, I just don't get it. It's important to me that you like Clarissa, Alex, so... Tell me the truth. What do you really think of her? Um, stick with it. Stick with it. Stay with her. If she makes you happy, if she makes you laugh, who am I to say anything otherwise? Thank you. Good blessings, good tidings. You know, I never noticed. That's a good looking jacket. I should ask for it back. I don't like my new one. Feels like I got shoes on my arms or something. Nope, I'm keeping it. <sighs> you know what, bucko? I need it more than you. Paco, you haven't called me that in years. And then it just cuts it out. Radio guys, that's real mean. Cutting me back all the way to then? Alex, are you... Alright, are you back with me now? Man, you've been acting like a... I don't even know how to put it, like a bird, just flitting around in circles for ten minutes. I was about to, like, slap you or scream or something. It's been not fun to watch in light of everything. I, uh, I, I don't know. What was I doing? Well, let's see. First you stopped walking, then you started spinning. Slowly, like a dying top. And then you were talking about sandwiches, like, in your sleep. I thought, honestly, I was watching your brain melt. I... I was? Yeah. It was just like you... you totally lost all your wind. But, I mean, you seem okay now, so let's just get to the gate quick and do this thing and get home. Sure, but, um, they kind of cut me off here, so fuck you, Radio Ghosts. I have to check out things. Well, what is this? Adler I didn't know Maggie grew up in Maine. There's a similar statue of a soldier in Maine where I grew up. My memory of it is, I think, part of the reason why I said yes when the army recruited me out of college, despite, despite my family's pro uh, protestations. Anna, my closest friend from childhood, was of course thrilled at the possibility of my escape. I anonymously started the petition in uh, 1975 to have this one made, after the daughter of Canola crewman Francis Salter asked. I don't know why. A marker, maybe. For the hope I, ha I once had to help people. Hmm. So now I'm, like, running into letters and shit. Oh, I can't go back? <sighs> Damn it! We have this better radio that can open up secret doors. And it made me skip past one of the secret doors that I knew was there. The only secret door I remember is there. That is just cruel. In fact, what is this path? We didn't pass by this before, right? No, wait, I remember it now. Okay. Hey, why aren't you at the tower? This one got a little antsy. Weird stuff was playing on the radio. That voice said I had a mother's laugh. What does that even mean? Anyways, are we happy? We are happy. We got a new radio that's supposed to open doors and gates in some magical way. Oh, thank God. I was getting nervous that you would have walked all that way and then not found anything. Seeing as how it was my advice to uh, do the whole thing. Some <sighs> weird stuff happened along the way, but... 
I mean, I guess whatever. That's the new normal now. Weird stuff. And we can't find Clarissa, so... She pretty much got transmogrified to someplace else. It's sad that any of those words make any sense to me, but... Yeah, should we maybe look for her, possibly? Even if the boat plan works, we shouldn't leave her here. Listen, if we have the key, which is apparently this radio, then let's just go to the house and see. And if it looks like we can leave that way, then we'll go on a Clarissa hunt. <sighs> All right. I think you're supposed to use the radio to tune into the gate, right, Alex? Sure. Okay. So when so I get close to the gate, the gate thing, it turns or? blue to indicate that I have to look for it on one of the lower spectrums. If we're still going to go to the house, let's just do it. Try the radio, Alex. Oh, fuck yes. Nope, that's Morse code. Come back with music. What the fuck? Oh, that opened the door. I didn't even notice this fucking thing was lighting up. Oh, wow. Neat. <laughs> Everyone thinks I'm badass for that. Please have a boat. Please have a boat. Please have a boat. Just think happy thoughts. Yeah, happy thoughts. I'm surprised Jason doesn't, or Jason, god damn it. Jonas, you know, Jonas could be an anagram of Jason. It works out that way. I'm surprised he didn't ask, like, hey, what happened? And I could have been like, well, I saw my dead brother. Hey, Jesus, boat. that house is huge. That lady really knew how to live. It's like the Chateau de Adler. <sighs> there is something up with her. She has this giant house. She's burying, like, secret messages all over the place. I mean, this is crazy. Yeah, and we can leave it to Scrappy-Doo or whoever to figure it out. What's a Scrappy-Doo? Yeah, but we could figure it out. Aren't you the least bit curious? There's not gonna be a sunken pirate ship at the end of this, Alex. It's just a wrecked submarine. Yeah, and if you're really so anxious, you can come back on your own time. I just want to get home. Yeah, oh, but what if they don't let us oh, go home? It's like a it's like a boat that needs keys. There are no oars. And before we go crazy, it's not it wasn't with Maggie's stuff back at the office, like with the radio? No. We looked through all of her stuff, I think. Huh. Well, uh What's plan B if we can't find it? Um the keys, they they have to be in the house for the movers or her family, you know? That's as good a guess as any. Sometimes when I lock myself out of my house, I'll just I can't help but just stare at the deadbolt trying to, like, hypnotize it to open or something. You ever do that? Um, not really. But we can try that now if you think it'll help. Please do spend time just staring at the boat. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm heading into the huge house. I thought she would have lived in, like, a really cozy small thing, but no, not really. Yeah, that's gonna be really creepy, alright. So the best way that I've been able to figure out, here we go, is sometimes when you're passing by the correct place, it lights up. You also hear a noise too, but sometimes... That is a nifty gizmo. You don't notice. I, sometimes I don't see the thing or hear the noise beforehand, so I'm just looking at the dial and seeing if it lights up. Why is this place lit up? What the Jesus. fuck?! Scared me. thought you were like... Maggie Adler's dead body or something. How would that make sense? How do you get in here? The door was locked. Do you have, like, a radio? No, I don't have a radio. The kitchen window was open. Kitchen window? Where? In the back. In the kitchen. Sure. Okay, sure. Look, Clarice is here, so everyone's here now. We can just... Everyone's okay, all right? That's a good yeah, thing. Yeah, let's just find the keys to the boat or a phone or whatever and just find a way home. I promise, we can all keep talking and or fighting at school on Monday. I don't care what she says, just everyone keep your eye on her. Yeah, I just might climb through the kitchen window again, who knows? Okay, we get it. Haha, -ha, carry on. Everybody find something and hope that it helps. Jonas would understand what the fuck I'm talking about. We saw you jump off and die. Man, she owned enough books. It's mostly math, I think. Ergodic thermodynamics. And religion, sheesh, okay, there's a lot of- Okay, we get it. She liked the smell of paper. Fascinating insight. We'll all miss her dearly. Okay, why don't you get off your ass and help then? I am helping, by keeping out of the way of more enterprising sorts like yourself. Jesus Ugh. Christ. Like I said, 
She could be a really nice person to all her friends, but my god, is she awful to everybody else. How are you doing? How are you doing? Look, Jonas, are we, like, okay? I mean, because of the whole taking not you to town thing. <sighs> I'm not going to pretend it didn't bother me a little, but it'd be stupid to, like... Tonight has been bad enough. I'm not going to crab about that. Where are they that. going? I mean, are you, like, mad at me or something? Right? Well, maybe a little. Well, I... I'm sorry for whatever it is, I guess. And if it's about Ren, then tell him not to be a jackass anymore and we'll be fine, I'm sure. <laughs> Would you... How about both of you don't be jackasses, okay? Oh, that's an attic? Thought it was like a cat's toy or something. Attics are always a little haunted house spooky, right? It's the tight spaces, the darkness, the spiders, the creaking, and... Well, I'm actually that about covers it. I didn't actually want to come down here immediately, but... Yeah. Let's go downstairs real quick. I just... I want to make sure that I look at everything in the house before we fucking start some kind of... Crazy... Shenanigans in the house. Wait, have you seen this? It's like a, a star map or a diagram of planets or something. Yeah, why would she need anything like a map of the universe? I mean, it's not like she's bouncing stuff off satellites for a job. Or maybe they were back then, what do I know? Maybe they needed to chart... Uh, signals through space or something? Yeah, maybe. Oh, it's a... it's a draft of her letter that she left in the office. To whom it should concern. She left notes everywhere, she said. Hidden with secret signals. She was an odd one, I'll give her that. But, you know, cool in a way. No, I think it's pretty cool, actually. I, I could see myself doing something like this for the... the people I leave behind. Well, leave a cheat sheet for the laziest of us, okay? <laughs> yeah. Uh, except, you know, we definitely, hopefully, won't have to worry about ghosts fucking with everyone that you love. Hey, we're just trying to find out what they think about us. Can you not, like, send us into the past with flashbacks and have people jump up buildings? No! <laughs> the chest is padlocked. This is what she wanted! Mrs. Adler was either paranoid beyond belief or just a very tidy woman. Uh, paranoid. Well, she buried information in sonically camouflaged containers, Jonas. My guess is paranoid. Alright, gotta find the code somewhere in the house. Or wherever the fuck everybody else just went. They just went underneath the house like nothing bad was gonna happen. <sighs> it's been disconnected. Bummer. At least Jonas has been chilling out with us. Alright, Jonas, enjoy staying in the house. <sighs> Put some clothes on. <laughs> Remember that guy? Where are your parents? Your kids better than- Oh, um, Chad's lake house. Yeah, yeah, that guy was a friggin' weirdo. Uh, yeah. She's really out of it, Nona. You should be really cautious about her. Hey, Nona. Hey. How's it going? Uh, steady as she goes. Clarissa? Your Highness? I just want you to be keenly aware, sharply aware that I don't care one, one anything what you think about me, okay? And making a big show of telling me, that surely fits the narrative you've drawn up for yourself. You know, I actually did not mean to say all that shit, but oh well. <laughs> If there's anything that Clarissa has going for her, is that she's still being really fucking sassy. And so... It can very easily be that Clarissa is fine, but the ghosts can possess her at any time. Or maybe the ghosts have whatever they need to possess her and ready. I mean, they possessed me, sort of. Hi, Ren. There's something in here. Just looks like vacation slides or something. Oh, is Ren gonna turn these on? Find anything useful? Not yet, but you know, the night is young. So, it's Nona's birthday in three days. Really? Awesome. Yeah, that that's great. That's great. I can um uh, I can really use that. I feel like it's like I'm behind enemy lines with that one. This is perfect. Just be nice is what I'm trying to say. Say happy birthday, you know? Normal human stuff. Oh, yeah, no, of course. Got it. I'll turn up the nice, turn down the charm. Don't worry. Thanks. 
<laughs> uh, we'll see about that. If we all get out of here alive. Huh. Ren, you were right. There's like a ledger here. The Adler family does own the island. Never doubt me. And here's the combination for the... There's a, a padlock chest in the attic upstairs. 29, 18, 54. Uh, cool. All right, so we can go all the way back up there. But first, we gotta check these out. a lot of... What should I call these? Slides? They're, they're not videos. Um, silent memories? Silent memories, that's creepy. We should turn some of them on. I mean, what if it's something really interesting? Pictures of the island? Pictures of the ghosts? That she's been snapping? You know, the fucking two-eyed orange ghost that's been following us around? Would love to find out more about that Are thing! Are you, um, doing okay? Yeah, I'm alright. Yeah? We're going home soon, so... Yeah, that's true. She's kind of out of it, though. She's a little bit sassy, but she's just kind of like... She seems worn out. But maybe that's just the way they wanted her to be portrayed. Alright, we want you to sound like you're really fucking tired. Okay, at this point in the story, you're just, you just want to leave. It's 3 a.m. in the morning. Your character's been pretty much up for the entire point. Nobody else sounds like that, though. In fact, no, no one is sounding more lively than you, than before. 29, 18, 54. It's a lot of radios and those containers we saw at the town office. Oh, and like a map of the caverns. She's written here, tune into the source. What do you think that means? She couldn't have known about the ghosts, right? Tune into the source. It, it's probably something about the special radios, you know? Huh. Is this... Ah, the boat keys. Got them. Perfecto. Do we have a choice here? A choice right, to stay on the island? For the boat. Or to leave? Where? Jonas found them in a chest upstairs. So, say thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. I was just saying it. It's not directed at you or anything. Okay. <laughs> boys, boys! Ah! Ah! Alex! Oh, Alex! Come down here, please! We have something we want to show you. <laughs> uh, Clarissa? Where are you? In the family room, dear. Roll an oil, marinated, so to speak. What the <laughs> fuck? Ren, are you, are you all right? We're in a, we're in a time loop thing. Oh God, we we're so close to escaping. Nona, can you, can you hear me? I, I know they're not gonna respond, but I just want to like <laughs> make, you know, make attempts. Come on, Jonas, I, I really need you. Don't blank out on me now. You're the only one who has any kind of idea what the fuck's going on. Uh, I can't go through the door. That means I have to go a different way. Ah, ah! There you are. Now we imagine you're a bit confused. But don't fret. This will be the final part of your training, Alex. What? All training is supervised by very skilled instructors. Training? I, I don't want to be trained. What are you, you signed up for this, Alexandra? In the caverns, you tuned in to our signal. So please, I cannot bear your excuses, offspring. Why was I meant to know what the hell was going to happen? And yet, without understanding your footing, you still acted. But don't worry. The test is easy. We will speak of something we see on the house, and you will go and find it. See? As simple and good humored as your mother's apple pie. What is it with you guys and all the... the games? You're like dogs or children. Just what is the point? The point, dear. The point is that they were never games. And you can figure that out by your lonesome. Now, let's start with the softball. I spy, with my little eye, radiation. There is, of course, a time limit here. Radiation? So... Time. Is it... are you talking about the TV? Very good. Well done. The older models emitted X-rays. But right now, you'd be wise to think of radiation in another sense. The fuck does that mean? Pay attention. What does this have to do with, with us? I mean, we're... we're I not... spy, with my little eye, a notch. 
Let's make this a little harder, okay? What the fuck? Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Uh, is it the, the this painting? It looks kind of like a knot. Excellent, excellent. You're doing so well. That worked. What it's the time fuck? Time for the bonus round, Alex. So stay quick. This is what you really want to find. I spy with my little eye a picture of a memory. Be fast now. The, the picture of of I guess it's Maggie Adler and somebody. Is this it? Yes. Very, very nice. That's Margaret Adler, Adler and her friend Emma. You see, you and your schoolyard chums are experiencing. Well, this has sort of happened before. Maggie and Emma tried to sport with us many years ago, and well, only one survived. But in the process, we discovered a way for us to return, so to speak. It just takes a little time and a far-reaching tolerance for the ignorance. Wait, what? What happened to Anna? Let's leave it at the poor girl didn't know what she was playing with. It doesn't matter. They're not an eternal recurrence. The waves. It's the waves, we think. And we will use the waves to absorb into your friends so the sunlight blooms into flowers. And we will grow. And we will engulf. You can't do that! Think about what you're doing! We can do that, Alex. And what has seemed to your parents as 80 years has been for us eons to know an existence without life. We started it too quickly with Anna, but now we know to wait and soak. We had to keep you here, on the island. It will be a great honor, Alex, really, to carry us through this life. And on to the next. You... you had your time. You had your time. Don't take ours just because you had some... some accident. We never had our time. It was ripped from us. We watched the universe's conception flag to its demise over and over and over again. What the fuck does that mean? We have until dawn, and so will you. We would spend our time wisely, and we thank you for your good service. Well, that could have gone better. <laughs> What the fuck, guys? Are they the ghosts of the wreck or what? <laughs> that hasn't even been fully confirmed yet. Now I gotta go through this tape shit to get out of here in the first place. What a bunch of jackasses. We wish to come back into this world. So we're gonna go into the bodies of children and also fuck with them for like an entire night first. After all, we can't get into them immediately. Otherwise, things fuck up. Of course, they had to learn that by trying to get in and screw with us anyways. Uh, geez, what do you want now? Just don't try and influence Michael. He can live his own life. What are you talking about? What does this... What does this matter? He's dead. He's not... He's not here. <sighs> I don't know what I should be listening to for those things because I don't know what the fuck it's talking about. We had one flashback that went all the way to Michael. So we can go on. <laughs> I, I think I'm gonna be sick. Me first. Uh, it wasn't a dream or a vision or something. You and Clarissa standing in the living room just now, was it? Ugh. No, that was very, very real. We're in, like, trouble. Yeah... God. Well, I mean, we're in trouble only if you don't like getting your soul consumed by a hundred-year-old submarine crew. Okay. So, I mean, Christ, if Clarissa was whisked away to the cave by nuclear submarine monsters, then... I mean, the plan has to be to retrieve her, right? I'm still going to call them ghosts, if that's okay. A ghost? Clarissa is only, like, one slice of the problem. We're all infected or whatever, so we need to rip the issue off like a bandage all at once. Okay, great, yeah, but how do we do that? Well, uh, good question. Maggie, I think Maggie Adler might have had some sort of a plan or a, a scheme or something to fix what's going on. What possible plan could Maggie Adler have? First of all, she's dead. And second of all, she was like the island mother She knew something. I mean, look around. This whole house is like a ghost hunting command center. 
and she thought she needed to tune a radio into the... the source of the problem in the cave. Well, if we're going to the cave... Oh, actually, I forgot. I saw the entrance has been caved in since you guys went inside. All right, I know there are a whole bunch of secret communist bomb-fearing tunnels dug into this place during the 1950s. And Maggie has loads of film about military stuff in her basement, so... Maybe there's a way back into the cave through one of those, you're thinking? <sighs> Let's take a look. <laughs> what kind of name is Epiphany Fields, anyway? I thought Wait. it was Epiphany. Is it Epiphany? It's, uh... It's Epiphany Field. Oh, that makes more sense. <laughs> she said it like it was an Epiphany, too. All right. We gotta solve the problem with this place. We gotta stop the ghosts. We don't want to harm you. Because if we did, that would fuck up the bodies we want to possess. This is what they should have tried saying earlier. I thought they were gonna hopefully be friendly ghosts. Friendly ghosts that just couldn't really see that what they were doing was really fucked up. No, they, they know what they're doing. They know what they're doing is wrong. Well, they don't care because they want to come back. I mean, if I was a 100 year old ghost, I probably wouldn't be very sane either. Um, okay. I can't leave yet, so I guess... I guess we have to go to the basement. Where Ren was talking about those old films that Maggie Adler has. So that way we can figure out where they are exactly. And then that also gives us an opportunity to explore the island and be like, Okay, where are the secrets? Be careful, that film's really flammable. Wouldn't want Smoke and Johnny to light the house on fire. Ha ha. Okay, let's get this real. All right, there's already something in here. Experiments and findings of experienced phenomena, January 52. Awesome. Oh man, if this turns out to be just prehistoric home videos. Yeah. I'm sure this is just the- That's Sweet, they're learning. Boo! S okay, all right, we get it. All right, so we have- You can, uh, skip this one. Maggie Alex. and Anna. Okay, we're what are getting they doing? warmer, I think. So, if you look at the, like, lines or whatever, the bomb shelter should lead right into the cave. Just like from another angle. According to this, at least. Oh, so it does. Brilliant! Is it? Yeah, how do we get in? It's just like the cave wall, only steel or whatever bomb shelters are made out of. The radio. Oh, what? She knew about these things? Wow, that's crazy. It says that to fix a temporal tear, that's a mouthful, in the cave, we would need to transpose to the other side and tune into the source within itself. Okay, but we're not doing that, right? Oh, we're Good totally doing question. that. question. Yeah, that's, that's going a little above. Above and beyond. Well, I don't know what to tell you, but strap in, boys and girls, because we might have to, okay? If it's the only thing that will fix us. Yeah, but that's, like, scary. Well, something better work. Or we're boned. Or we're boned. Precisely. Well, oh, let's sorry, find out this more. Is like, this looks like the end, but from the from the wrong film thing. No, 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 wait. This is something I actually remember from that stupid radio tour thing, because it, like, sounded so weird. It's called the call and response system. It unlocks the bomb shelter. This is showing us how to do it. Oh. See? It says, when someone sends an emergency signal from the Capard station in the woods, and the receiving station confirms it. It's like a connected response thing. Brilliant! Really? It's good enough for me. Alex and me will head through the woods, do the, um, call part. You and Ren can hang by the door to the bomb shelter and open it when it's ready. Uh... Wait, wait, I, um, I'm sorry, I kind of zoned out there for a second. What are we doing? Ren and Nona are team, um, Soaring Eagle, and you and I are awesome squad. I like Awesome Squad. I want that one. And we're splitting up to work on some old fangled machinery to open the bomb shelter, to get into the cave, to yada yada yada, save our lives or whatever. Okay, use the response station to open bomb shelter. Oh, we gotta go all the way back up there. Adler's number stations, 1401. Oh, that's good. <laughs> I'm glad she wrote that all down, because right. I would have forgotten. Break. And if anything goes wrong, please don't tell me. I won't want to know. You do want to know. Well, now I'm gonna run over there and specifically tell you at the first drop of bad news. No. <laughs> It'd actually be really amusing if this also blocked off my shadow. All right, so I thought we were gonna, because you can see that it shows Fort Milner. I thought we were gonna have to have like 
all the places that we've been to. Harden Tower, Milner Outpost, and Relay Point all end up responding to each other. And they have to split up into like a group of three. That. That would have been pretty ridiculous. <laughs>